<laughs> there you go. That's, that's High it. energy air coming at you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Eric and Chris, and this is Whiskey and Hammock. And today we are doing 1350 Distillery out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Colorado. Right. So we visited there. Obviously, you guys know that. Yep. And on our way out, a, you know, a box came in. A box came in. So the unboxing video that you guys seen. Ta-da! Um, now we're gonna taste. It. Now we're getting after it. So let, let's talk about um, Leatherneck whiskey first. Not the bourbon. Leatherneck whiskey. Okay. It's uh, made for the Marines. Right. There's a Marine dude on the front of it. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing, you know, 1350. We'll get into that. And then next we have the Guardian bourbon. Right. So the Guardian bourbon, which is 99% corn, 40%, you know, uh, ABV, 80 proof. I think this one is Coast Guard-ish. It is Coast Guard. All right. Fantastic. Coast Guard. And, well, and because they are the, the Guardians that support and protect and defend our country's, what, coasts? It's funny. Did you do that on purpose? You have to explain what the Coast Guard is, but you just let the Marines be the Marines because who doesn't well, know about the Marines? Well, I explained it, but you cut me off, so I just let it, let it be. Roger that. So, all right, so why do they call it Leatherneck? Chris clearly doesn't like the Coast Guard because <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so, no, yeah, so this is uh, Leatherneck. It's Marine whiskey. <laughs> why do they call it Leatherneck, Eric? Because that's what Marines are called. They're Leathernecks. It's because of the because of the leather collar that they had when they were boarding enemy ships. Right, hence the leather neck leather neck name whiskey. Right. All right. So what's what's next? What's, what's next? next is code for straight bourbon whiskey. Right. One hundred fifteen proof cask cask strength. So it is the same thing, same mash bill as a bourbon. Ninety nine percent corn, but like I said, it's cask strength. It comes in a little bit hotter. Yep, a little, little bit more hotter. Heat to it. This one is for the police. Yep. It's code four. Yep. Which I think is like, hey, I'm coming home. Uh, code four means everything's safe and everything's good. Yeah, I'm coming home. <laughs> uh, five alarm cinnamon fire bourbon. Right. So that's their bourbon. That's their bourbon with some cinnamon in it. Like right. not like Fireball, but actual cinnamon. <laughs> like Phil, like you, you'll see in the video. And then yeah. In the you know our tour. Mm -hmm. Phil even says, <laughs> "Everything." Like, like, oh, He's like, right. "Okay." Which one? Yeah. This only has two really, I'm excited. And then nice. we got next, Wingman Gin. Because us Air Force guys, we're sophisticated. And you love your gin and tonics? we love our gin and tonics. Clearly. Clearly. So this one, there's a, this one's a 40 ABV 80 proof. Um, this one has a secret ingredient to it that he couldn't, he wouldn't tell us what it was. Yeah. And I was in the shower the other day. I just got done eating Pizza Hut. You got meat lovers, deep dish, because you got to have that like crunchy part on the pizza, mm -hmm. on the crust. Yeah. And I had something in my teeth, and I picked it with my tongue, and I, a caraway seed, I think, is what it was. I think that's what they put on the meat lovers. That instantly brought me back to trying, when he let us try the gin, Yep. and he wouldn't tell us the secret ingredient. Yep, there was a... Uh, you know Six ingredients, right? Something like that, yeah. He would only tell us, we guessed five. Right. But so, he wouldn't tell us what the sixth one is or right. seventh or well, whatever it was. Well, he said if you guessed it, you get a free bottle. So, I'm officially putting the whiskey in a hammock stamp on Caraway's. Caraway? Caraway. Caraway. Caraway seed. <laughs> yes! Are you serious? Because yes! <laughs> you, you know I'm right. You know I nailed it. <laughs> All right, so, why don't we... Are we going to crack it? Are we going to start drinking here? Yes, of course. Oh, for, can reason. we talk about these guys? So these are 1350 distilling mm, shot, glasses. Uh, shot glasses. These and what are, they are made from... Of? These are rounds that get shot out of the A-10. They're 30 millimeter... Right, yeah, check that out. 30 millimeter... What? ...shell casings. And we get to, you know, we shoot out of these. Just so happens to be my son is an A-10 crew chief. So... That was awesome. That was super awesome to find these at his place. And we got some t-shirts from him, too. Right. Well, I didn't. Did you? I, yeah, I got one, yeah. too. Of course. Anyway, oh. all right. All right. Start so, with Leatherneck, huh? Yep. Open it up. So, what I do don't even say? know. Are these corks? These got to be corks, right? I don't know. Ooh, yep. Yep. It is. Did you hear the pop? I heard the pop. Boop. Boop. Double boop. Boop. All right. Give him the history. I'll pull Okay, it. so... 
the history. So Phil Bragg is what? Ooh, I know? should maybe not do so much. We're, <laughs> right. we're doing five bottles. Uh, yeah. How about that? Is that better? Or would you like some more? I think I like a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be one of those times where after the video, I have to drive Chris home. It's only happened one or two or three times. <laughs> well, if you're going to, I'm going to double boot too then. All right. <laughs> it can't be outdone. Nope. I'm going to double boot too. I can do what you can do. So, Phil Bragg, he's what? You know, retired? Retired you know, uh, Marine. Retired uh, Lieutenant Colonel in the Marines. Then uh, he you know, retired from the military. And he uh, distilled, you know, spirits for a hobby. And then, you know, uh, decided, like, you know what, I think I'm going to open up a distillery. He got, you know, a couple, couple of friends, mm -hmm. and they, you know, toured a bunch of distilleries. And you know what, he's like, he's like, I think I really want to do this. But he said they were lacking a few things. So what he thought was, like, you know, they, the four things that he said, you know, the need for a good distillery is, you know, a good fermentation, good distilling, good flavoring, and good packaging. Nailed so it. right, and, they, and that's what they came up with. Thirteen fifty. So what does thirteen fifty mean? Thirteen stripes, fifty stars. Right. Some people, I mean, some people get it, some people don't get it. But, and I think he's totally right. As soon as you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, that and, makes you, total and you won't sense. forget it. No, nope. you won't forget what, you know, what nope. it stands for. This it, um, <coughs> sorry. So this Leatherneck came out the year. This came out twenty twenty, which is the year they started doing this bourbon and whiskeys and stuff, which just so happened to be the two hundred forty fifth birthday for the Marines. So he was playing, right? Yeah, he nailed it. Right. Planned right. it, nailed it. All right, so straight first. Mm. This is just the whiskey. This isn't the bourbon, right? No, yeah, but this is the rye. This is the rye Oh, whiskey. this is the rye whiskey. Rye whiskey. You already tasted Ooh. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Sorry, <laughs> cheers. I was thirsty. You talk too much. <laughs> So it's, I mean, very, it's good. It's very getting out the nose. It's very rye. -y. Hmm. But I mean, it's not. It's I mean, not what? overpowering. No, I mean, rye. I mean, so what? You know, ninety proof. I shouldn't have taken the drink first. Dang it! It's not hot. It's not. It doesn't have that rye spice smell to it. No, it has a little bit of spice. But it's not overpowering, like. Other rise that we've done. I think I just want a half of one. No, I just yeah. Or, wait, can I just boop your water? Is you this can. your water? Yeah, that's mine. I'm gonna put you know, I'm gonna put this one in. It's not even gonna last though. Do I? I should probably put ice in there since that's how we do it. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, put ice in. I should, I should put yeah, it. yeah, put ice in it, Eric. No, you're just roll, do it. dude. <laughs> So, what else? What else about you know, the huh? So what else about you know 1350? Um, okay, yeah. So 1350 is like we said in Colorado Springs. Phil Bragg's in the Marines. Was in the Marines for like 24 years or something. 27. 27 years, and then they do a ton of veteran work. Throughout Colorado Springs. Well, you know, and that's the other thing that um, that Phil said that he's all about, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, the big thing is like you know, you know, even on a tour, Phil's like big into community. Mm -hmm. you know, you'll see it. It was really cool, really neat. So they do a ton of work, you know, veteran suicide stuff, veteran uh, homelessness, firefighters, police officers. They do the whole. They run the gamut as far as helping out the community with that. It's a big deal. Phil, they do a hell of a job over there. Man, this is good. All right, so are we moving on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> open that one up, and so. All right, Guardian Bourbon. Guardian Bourbon. So it was like you know, Phil and his wife got together with you know his friends, uh, uh, friends Jake and Abby. Mm -hmm. And you know, I uh, found out that Jake is their uh, Aussie veteran, but he's also a graphic designer. Oh, like you. Kind of, exactly, right? yeah. No, so, so he does all the artwork and all, this, and all the promo stuff for uh, 1350. <laughs> all right. So, all right, Guardian, so Bourbon. Guardian Bourbon. And so Guardian Bourbon, this is the one that's 99% uh, 99 corn. You know, uh, 80, only 80%, yep. right? 40% 40, 40 80 proof. 40% 80 proof. 
Ooh, this one's nice and sweet. You know what this has a smell of? What's that? It smells like Missouri. Oh, yeah. The, the uh, Missouri bourbon? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Holy buckets. Where's my halvesy? There it is. You know, that's good. Easy, you know, easy, easily drinkable. That's, that could be, you want a full one or a half? <laughs> this could be this could easily be a this is easily an everyday drinker oh yeah and, 100%. You know, I don't know so, I mean because it's you know uh, only 80 proof it, you know, it sits you, nice it, on yeah. the tongue too doesn't it yeah, I don't even think you, you would need ice mm -mm. better in it's truest form yeah just, you know, just uh, straight from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Just that. Just that. Just that. Yeah, just that little bit. Yep. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of those you got? <laughs> got a whole bag of them? Yep. Got a whole bag of Hold on. I got one right here. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Have you seen my hat? Dude, it's sweet. I know. Where'd you get that from? Uh, East River Mountain Apparel. A guy named John Gunter. Yeah? Yeah. We, uh, I was like, hey, bro, I need some hats. And he said, I can do it. And you know what? I think they're available in our store. Yeah, whiskeyandahammock.com. Right. Or Whiskey and a Hammock on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Right, but you'll, if you go to the store, if you go to the store, there they are. I think it was, what did we say, 30 bucks, right? Yeah, that's a deal. Yeah, that's a deal, man. It I is. definitely, I'd probably pay like 40 for this, but, <laughs> I mean, we're, we'll sell them for, we'll sell them for 30 I need a hat. You want one? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can get you one. I Dude. know a guy. All right. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I, I need a one. Guy. Hook me up. All, All right. right. So, now we got more milk. Yeah, I got more milk. More milk. I still got a little T-bone in here. <laughs> That's what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> this is dangerously smooth. Like, dangerously smooth with ice cube in it. No burn. No nothing. It mm. tastes... It tastes like a good bourbon. It tastes like you would think a good bourbon would taste with absolutely zero peat with, ice, with ice cube in it. Yep. No, I would say we have ice one, cube. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't even you know, use ice for that one. Nope. This is, this is a winner right here. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. All right, so... I gotta finish mine. To finish it. The bourbon and whiskey drinkers, that's the one that they're, uh, that, that's their favorite, the code four. This is the go to? Because it's, you know, it, it's the cast strength. So cast strength, you know. Right. And it's. It comes out a little bit hotter. Comes out, because that's what it comes out at the, you know, from the right. cast, right? You know, and at it's, that strength. It's code four. So it's, you know, it's all safe. Everything's good to go. After you drink responsibly. This is going to be code four, so you're going to be good to go and safe. That's Chris's sign for shut up. <laughs> Time to taste some more. All right. <laughs> All I heard was group, 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 group. I was right? like, whoa, what are we, whoa, whoa. Such a good, love that sound. Group, 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 group. All right, code four. Code four. So code 115 four. proof cast strength straight bourbon whiskey. Cast strength, that's, you know, that's the, uh, the ABV that it came out of the cask at. So you can actually blend multiple casks and still get cast strength. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Or maybe I did know that. I just You, you did, different. but the, the difference is a single barrel. Single barrel, that's where it comes right from the barrel. And it's supposed to be right from the barrel, right to the bottom. I thought that was cast strength as ah, well. Ah, right? You would think. I'm learning something new every day. <laughs> huh, all right. Well, all right. See? I'm learning. All, all right. right. So off the nose, this is in your, you can tell. Ooh, yeah, this is, this so, hits a little different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. But, you know, so it's the same mash bill, just comes out hotter, and you can smell it. It does smell hot. Oh, smell, see, it smells better to me. I can get more. Mm -hmm. There's more to it. More to it. Right off the rip. You know, I get the typical caramel. Right, sweet. That, you know, almost like, you know, this almost buttery smell. Yeah, it does. Mm. Mm. 
Ready? Yeah. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers, Phil. Ooh, there it is. There it is. That's that melt on your tongue, buttery, mm. smooth heat. Yeah. Caramely. Obviously, it's got. I mean, they all taste like caramel, but. No, but that's a good. This one's. I mean. I like this one the best. Yeah. No. I, mm -hmm. So far. I do like this one the best. Yeah. I'm taking you know one more sip and then you know, add an ice cube. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting about the ice cube. Yeah, but I mean, you know, even the nose on it, I like better. Nice thick legs. <laughs> I just licked my glass in front of how the millions of people that watch us. Oh, no, it's your glass. You can lick it all you want. As long as there's whiskey in my glass, I ain't scared. Right. Ain't no COVID in my whiskey glass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, doesn't this, like, you know, defeat COVID? Yeah, it's... Well, this is 115. Right. So it's we got... Kill. We're in the we're in the sunlight. Well, not... We're in the shade. <laughs> but we were in the sunlight. UV kills COVID. Alcohol's got to kill COVID. Yeah, 100%. You know? I, maybe that's why I haven't gotten sick. I, it's got to be I why. I work outside and I drink a crap ton of... Bourbon. Bourbon. Whiskey. I think that's our... That should be on our next shirt. COVID don't live in my whiskey glass. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. I like that. Yeah. That, you know it's good when you hear a lot of mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Mm. Well, I mean, I, you know, I think Phil said that this is this is his you know top seller right there, the Guardian. I think this is my favorite, but I don't. This is the everyday drinker. This one's my nightcap. It's what I want to go to bed dreaming about. Yeah, see, with the ice cube, I think it makes it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's definitely better chilled, that's for yeah. sure. I can still get the heat, mm -hmm. still get the flavor. Nope, I mm. like it. Good. All right, so the other thing. So the other, you know, uh, you know, the five things that Phil said that what you know what makes thirteen fifty distilling different from other local distilleries. You know what those five things are. Eric? Uh, I don't remember what he said, but let me take a guess. Okay. Um, they're still sets them apart. Oh, we, we got to talk about their still. Right? Because then, the like, missile the or whatever the heck it was. What was it? A mi bullet? A missile? <laughs> and nobody gets it? Right. Well, it's either, well, Phil, you know, wanted to look like a round because yeah. well, he's an artillery. Yep. But, it know, really does. It really does. I know it does. Uh, or people say it looks like a rocket. Right. Which, you know, you've already you'll seen the pictures. Yeah, you'll see it. Yeah, you've seen it in the video. But yeah, so yeah, so we need to talk about his still. Yeah, his so his still, still is awesome. The Amazing. only one in the country, nor the world, maybe like that, no, right? I, I, I about the, I don't know. Because then the guy died. Who made it or something? <laughs> he did. No, he did. He did really die. I, I think yeah, that, that's what Phil said. Yeah, and, okay. Phil, and like he, you know, the guy wasn't happy about you know Phil reconstructing his right. still Tinkering to make it, with his stuff. Yeah, to make it look like an artillery shell. Phil's which, like, dude, it's mine, bro. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks, yeah, it looks I mean, good. it looks super cool. And it doesn't have any plates in it. Or no, it has one plate. Right. Right? But versus you know, the some that have 15 plates. Yes. So, but what does it do differently? I think Phil was saying something about there's no need for 15 plates. Because, like, that's why vodkas are saying 15 times distilled. Because yeah, it's going through 15 plates or something. There's something different that, you know, Phil still does that none of the other ones do. I do, do they have something to do with a boiling point? Uh, it's steam injected. Steam injected. That's what it so, was. So then you know, so it injects the steam, so it oxygenates the, the distillate, and so it, you know, it works faster. So, honestly, very, you know, one of the very few that actually, you know... I think there's only a few in the country. Like, for no, real. there's a few. No, the, the like, same not thing. a lot. Yeah, there's not a lot to do that, and Phil swears that it, you know, it makes a better spirit. So, Phil, at 1350... Not perfected yet, so it's not out for sale, but... It's coming. It's coming. It's TBD. strawberry vodka. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did mention that. I do and remember hearing What is it called? Bloodbath Vodka. <laughs> Close. Old Blood and Guts. 
Oh, see? I knew. I was. I remember. Look at you. <laughs> I remember. Fuck off. <laughs> that was a complete guess. <laughs> I swear to God it was. <laughs> I just dropped it and made me think of blood. Hey, makes sense. Blood and guts vodka? Yeah, old blood and guts. That sounds gross. <laughs> but you'd have to get a bottle. Especially I would. once you learn it's strawberry. You know, on the tour, you're like, oh, Phil said, like, you know, he mixed a little bit of the, you know, uh, rum with bourbon. Oh, yeah. Right? And he said, like, you know, some of the bourbon, like, you know, whiskey guys, like, ah, oh, you can't mix. Like, you know, yeah, I'm watch sure. me, dude. This, yeah. is my, this is my stuff, homie. <laughs> this is my stuff. Hey, you know what? I have no problem mixing. I, I do that. I'll try it. So, what do you think of, what, Code 4? Mm -hmm. A little bit of ice? Mm-hmm. A little bit of ice makes it nice. I mean, it's really nice straight. With no, not straight, but you know, with no water or anything. But it definitely makes it. Better is not the right word. Definitely makes it. Well, it, it brings out all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like sometimes you add water, it kind of opens up the whiskey, right? Brings out more flavors. And I think you know, um, is it because of the you know, 115 proof? It's super good. I think this is my favorite. Mm, see, I don't know. I'm torn. Between what? These two as my favorite. This is... Well, I don't know, because that makes this third, and I think this is right there with them. Mm. A's. Whoa, that's... In my, in my face. Thank you, B. <laughs> so next up is Five Alarm Cinnamon Bourbon, which is basically their bourbon with... What kind of cinnamon? Ethiopian cinnamon or something? Saigon. Saigon cinnamon. Saigon cinnamon. So, there's only two types of cinnamon, and one is like you know. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little of this one. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So, so, this is like we said earlier. This is very much not. Um, what's that crap called? Fireball. Fireball. It's yeah, very Phil, much not Phil, fireball. Yeah, Phil said it's not fireball. So. I'm still nervous. Like it's still. Do you smell something? It, sm it smells like Christmas cookies. <laughs> it totally does. It really does, doesn't it? Totally it totally does. Wow. Holy crap. I want an air freshener of this. Like, I've said that a few times, but I really do want so an air like, freshener. You know, if, you, if you had a couple air fresheners. Holy buckets. That's a bird. You said the whole thing? Yep. What do you think? It may, it reminded me of taking a shot, so I had to shoot it. And it's very, it's good. And it's not, you know, it's not that sugary sweet either. No, it is very it's cinnamon. Like, bourbon with cinnamon. So it's not that sugary no, sweet. No, it's not syrupy, thick, nope. gross. No, it's not. It's literally bourbon and cinnamon. So if you like cinnamon and bourbon... And you don't like uh, sugary sweet stuff? You know what this would go perfect in? A hot right. tot, hot toddy, like mm -hmm. when you're sick? Yeah. Because doesn't that have bourbon and cinnamon in it? I think so. Or cinnamon stick? Yeah. That's just one less ingredient, brother. He made, Phil, did the, Phil did it for you. Mm -hmm. So what did you think? You shoot it? I did. You know, and I'm not Could a... You? You're not a shooter? No, you think, I'm not a huge, you know... Um, Cinnamon whiskey fan. Mm -mm. That's different though. That's not. It is. That is different. Yeah. So that's it, cinnamon whiskey. That cinnamon is. bourbon. That's cinnamon. Like cinnamon bourbon, not that no. Not that syrupy fireball garbage. Yes. Nope. I would agree. Hundred percent. And you know what? I think that uh, for the gin, like, should we do a shot of gin? Ooh. Sure. You want to? I've so I've taken a shot out of this before. Have you? This is a lot. This is a big shot. So. <laughs> We're gonna fill this whole son of a bitch up right. with some gin. And wait, does it deserve to get smelled and nosed and gin? Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. We'll just do it. That's full. You sure? <laughs> 
can't even see yours. That's how little you put in there. I don't want to put this <laughs> I'm going to gag on camera. I just don't do shots well. You're the way. All right. You gay lord. Oh, I really like uh, her. My mouth is watering. But it smells different. It know. does smell different. It doesn't smell like gin, gin like normal. It's not pine tree y. Pine tree y. Pine tree y. Yeah. Pine tree y. Yes. At well, all. Well, like I said, you know, there's six different ingredients. Obviously. I think I nailed the sixth. Here they have. We. But you know, the other thing that's you know that's different with the you know, um, you know 1350s vodka and their gin is that they use sugar beets. Oh yeah, I did mention that. I do remember yeah. that. Yep. This tastes. This smells. This is not. Um, What's that it's the super pine tree one? Like. Tangeray or whatever? Oh, yeah. Like, it's not yeah, any no. of that. Not any of that. This smells good. Oh, God. All right, ready? Sorry, Phil, if I make face. It's not yours, it's just me. <laughs> oh, wow, it really wasn't as bad as I thought. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, it's pretty good. Pretty good. That would be really good. That would make it with tonic. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but... Yep. I mean, that's what, you know... And that's what Phil said, right? You know, gin and tonic, he does one every day. It's... I can see why. That was really good. Because it's Air Force. That's why. Oh, that's why? Yeah. Yeah. No, that is not bad. I'm, I'm not a huge gin fan, but... Not uh, a huge gin fan, but that's a W. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, I think, you know, next time, you know, we're like, you know, we need to do another video where we do a gin and tonic. I think we should. Definitely. I think we should. All right, so, what do you think of this? Um, I, I like, you know, I like, you know, uh, what they're doing. I like their bourbons. I love their marketing. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, how can you not? Like I said, you know, patriotic. How can you get more American than 1350? Right. Right? 13 stripes, 50 stars. That's encompassed. Like, you can see it. Oh, and just like, you know, um, Hill Rock. We turn them sideways. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, cool. Right? Right at the end. Well, you know, that's not that's that one. So oh. we can still finish it out. All right, cool. So, Chris, if you were, do you want to pick a favorite? I don't yes. want to rank them because yeah, I think they're all yeah. freaking good. Though, like you said, a favorite, I would pick, you know, the, you know, Code 4. Yeah, I think I, I'd I, go. Okay, so. Like, yeah, you go in order. I'd say in order. Be code for the Leatherneck, then the Guardian, and then obviously like you keep it in yeah. there. So out of the, out of the whiskeys with minus the cinnamon, code for Leatherneck and then Guardian. I'm gonna go Guardian code for Leatherneck. That's where I'm. That's my okay. story. And I'm sticking to it. So, so Guardian, Guardian code for Leatherneck, and you're. Code for. Code for Leatherneck Guardian. Yep. That's me. Awesome. So, does this get the infamous Whiskey and a Hammock stamp of approval? Yes. 100%. Ready? Stamped. Nailed it. There it is. So, Phil Bragg and everybody at 1350, you guys are kicking ass. We love it. Thank you so much for having us when we were out there. Yep. You were an excellent host. We love the tour. People have commented on our stuff saying how much they enjoy taking tours with us. So I know for a fact they're going to really enjoy this one. All right, so everybody out there, like if you're in Colorado, go check out Colorado Springs, yep. 1350. Check them out. You know what? They have a full bar. They have a tasting room. They take the tour. It's awesome. It's really, really cool. Tell them Whiskey and Ham extension if you see Phil. Right. So, Chris, actually, before we go, um, Whiskey and Hammock on YouTube, Whiskey and Hammock on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yep. And WhiskeyandHammock.com. We got these awesome hats. Um, they're made by East River Mount, East River Mountain Apparel, mm -hmm. and it's uh, East River MTN Apparel .com for them. Um, we got these shirts. We got yeah. flags. No, that's just for us. Yeah, I mean, if you want a flag, let us know. <laughs> so we got hats, shirts. Long sleeve T-shirts, hoodies, uh, rocks glasses, and that's all. It's whiskey flip and flops. 
Flip flops. Flip flops. I forgot about flip flops. Whiskeyinahammock.com, Whiskey in a Hammock on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, the more you buy, the more you support us. And we love you guys for it. Whiskey in a Hammock Nation. <coughs> Much love as always. Chris, hit us with the motto on the way out. May the wind always wear your hammock and your glass and your dry. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. That's good. Nailed it. What's going on, everybody? That was dumb. <laughs> Finger. Pew shooter. Pew, pew, pew. pew, pew. <laughs>